Hi there, my name is Adam Kowarski and today you are at Save the Bay's Exploration Center in Newport and we are going to be learning about sea stars. With me today I have a bunch of students that are back here at the Exploration Center to learn about my friend the sea star. First off, let me tell you a few things about the sea star. They are a really cool creature and they're classified as an echinoderm. That means they have spiny skin. If you feel the sea star, they have a very rough, bumpy skin. There's also this really cool orange dot on the middle of their body that a lot of people think it's, it's its eye. It's not actually its eye, it's known as the mother port or the madreporite, and it regulates the amount of water that goes in and out of the sea star. Uh, what a lot of people do not know is sea stars actually do have eyes, and they have five. There's one eye on the very tip of each one of their legs, and it's not quite like an eye like we have. They can actually only see shadows. If you look at the bottom of this sea star, it has a bunch, a bunch of little suction cups on the bottom. Now, does anyone know the name of those little suction cups? Yeah. Two feet. Oh, very good. They are called two feet. Now, does anyone know what these two feet are used for? Yeah. To stick on the wall. Yeah, to stick on the wall. But what if they're in nature? What do they stick on? Yeah. Yeah, the floor of the rocks and stuff, right? They love to stick onto rocks. Why do you guys think sea stars like to, sit, uh, to stick on rocks? So they don't get eaten. Very good. That's exactly why. That is definitely one reason. In order for sea stars to stick on rocks and use those really cool tube feet that they have, they actually use water pressure. So by using that orange dot that they have on the top of their body, they can suck in water. It almost works kind of like our noses to breathe in air, but instead they're sucking in water, and that helps them move around and stick to different things really tight, because sea stars actually have no muscles at all. They move around just with water pressure, and that also helps them eat. They love to eat different kinds of bivalves. That means things like mussels, clams, oysters, scallops, all that kind of stuff. So what they actually do when they're ready to eat a mussel or a scallop or an oyster or a clam, they wrap around the clam with those really awesome tube feet that they have and they stick onto it really, really tight. And then they slowly pull open the clam till it's open only a tiny little bit. And then what they do is they line up their mouth, which is in the very center of their body, with the opening that they made in the clam, in its shell. And then what they can actually do is spit their stomach outside of their body and into the clam. And once their stomach is inside the clam, they can actually digest the clam inside of its shell. That means they kind of chew it up inside the shell and break it down. And then they suck it back up, kind of like a clam smoothie. And then they bring their stomach all the way back into their body. And that's how they eat. How come some of them have uh, orange dye and some of them don't? All sea stars actually do have that orange dot, but sometimes they're smaller than other ones and it's hard to see them. Now, if you're all ready, I would love it if you could all pick up a sea star and check it out yourself and explore that sea star. If they're stuck on there really good, don't worry about taking them off because you might hurt them. I'll make sure you guys all get one. So if you guys want to actually just keep passing them down the line, I'll make sure everybody gets a sea star. Yeah, so they got a bunch of cool things going on. Yeah, tell us what you guys feel, what you guys notice about them. Say those things again. They're bumpy. They're bumpy, that's true. Spiky. Inside, it feels soft spiky. And spiky. Yeah, a little bit softer inside where those two feet are, right? The dots there. Oh, you found the dot. Very good. The motherboard, the madripoor. Right? What else, guys? How many arms do they have? Five. five. Excellent. They do have five arms. What else do you notice about them? Yeah. Some of them have short legs and tall. Does anyone know why? Because it might have been bitten off by a shark or something, so they're growing another one back. That is the answer. Does anyone know what they call that when an animal can regrow its body parts? Regenerate. Very good. That's exactly what they do. So sea stars are very special animals that live in Narragansett Bay. And with help from people like you, they can continue to be a part of our healthy habitat for many years to come. To visit them, come check us out here at Save the Bay's Exploration Center in Newport, or you can check us out on the web at savebay.org. Sea stars are the experts.